So, ladies and gentlemen, we have been very, 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 very engaged this week with uh, matters, the impeachment. And as you've heard, everybody is talking about issues of taking action, being out there, getting leaders. And this issue of leadership has become a very uh, pertinent issue when it comes to this thing that people call the movement. Apparently, um, the Gen Z movement was named out by the one and only former Deputy President, Buonarigadi Gashago. Yeah. We were, we were never, na- we didn't have a name. And then somebody also mentioned that the formless, shapeless, uh, whatever, whatever, was also brought up by him. And that is why probably they thought he had also a hand in it. I don't know if you guys uh, have have noticed that, uh, that it, it came from me, Mbana. Sasa mina shanga, kwa ni sisi tukua tunafanya nini hapo? And also, as you've heard, leaders, right now, Morala Kebaso is saying that he's going to Narok. And uh, the guys had already planned to go to to Uhuru Park. And it has become a, 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 an issue on the internet because now people are wondering what is happening here in the middle of, of all these. I don't know if I don't know if you guys have something to say about that. The real Joe, because I've had I've heard what Jamuri has said about Mamboya leaders and how we treat them and and people and their interests. What do you have to say on, on all this, Pipita? You know, mm. a move, Pipita, a movement that only merely moves people is a revolt. A movement that changes people and institutions is a revolution. Martin Luther King said that. When you try to just to to you see in a movement, I mean that's even the that's even the whole purpose of it. That's even the where the word the, the, the definition comes from. It's a movement. When you decide that you want to do it on your own and you want to take all the credit for it, red flags. When you decide to go against the interests of people, that's a red flag. It means when you get now to the helm of it, you'll be doing exact same thing. We saw this red, same same red flags in William Ruto, but people just ignored and just still gave him a chance. It is not for me, Pepita, I have said this several times, and I will say and I tell, I say it. Whether people will like it or not, that is just up to you. Morara does not, for me, he does not check the boxes. The leadership test for me, the boxes that I've put there, I cannot check even one for now. And I'm not giving him, I'm not putting him, throwing him under the bus. For now, he needs to do more for me. And that is what I, I would wish to convince Kenyans. Set your bar high moving forward. Don't play with anybody and feel some pity for anyone. No. You pity them, they take up these positions, they will throw you under the bus. Throw them under the bus before they throw you under the bus. Set your bus very high. Don't just, oh, he's a young person. Check, he's my leader. Oh, he's able to stand on top of a vehicle and call people and call for a rally. Check, he's my leader. No. Put the right, put the right boxes to be ticked. Set the bus so high that he needs to meet the very, very high bus that you've set. And when he meets them, give him his dues. But it is not about just giving. I mean, it is for me, you have to change both the people and the institution. And changing the people is the mindset, changing their mindset, giving them the right information. Not just, I mean, you see, and I, Morara, Morara actually, it is, it is actually our problem. He was joking, by the way. He, 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 he was shooting content. He was imitating the president. He was playing, and we decided to take him seriously. I, I, that's what I think. And, and I, I'm not discrediting him, but I feel like we pushed him too far. And, and if, if he feels like he's up there right now, and he can dine with the big boys, I mean, we still have a long way to go. We still... It, we need we need to do more. We need to do more. 
we need to do more. So it's not just, and him making it about him, that is also my problem. It's my, it's my problem. How, why does he have to make it about him? When he goes online, he says, now just a, a young man saying, I'm going this direction, everybody's whining. He's always making it about him. About him. That is a big red flag. He doesn't tick the boxes. So you want me to leave uh, ODM, a party that I've supported for years, and I want to replace ODM, yes. And you want me to replace with Inject Party, Morara. But now you guys, give me a better person. Give me a better deal. Morara does not meet any qualification that you can tell me to replace ODM right now. I see it's the ODM, but I'm looking for a better party. Real, I'm real losing... Job. Yes. Uh, uh, so, sorry to interject, Kidogo. Um, uh, so that so that we don't make this about Morara, uh, I, I think you've made your point about uh, sticking to the issues. Uh, do, do you? Uh, I, I, I'm just uh, I'm just interjecting so that we don't slide into um, kind of personality, if you don't mind. Okay, thank you. I stand guided. I stand guided. But again, leadership is all about personalities. You have to talk about them. But anyway, I stand guided. But just to to, to land my point, uh, right now, uh, I think our only hope, and I'll borrow this from Martin Luther King. I like to follow his quotes a lot. Our only hope lies in our ability to recapture this revolution spirit and go back into sometimes the hostile world and declaring internal hostility to these politicians. We need to go back to deplatforming them. We need to declare internal hostility. One minute. We need to do that and recapture the spirit of this revolution. Thank you. Let me glance. You know, I've been watching the mic controllers of Senate very carefully because clerk of the of the bunge. You know what I'm saying? So you can beyond time So I'm gonna give you three minutes. I, I have to break for the weekend, guys. I've done over forty hours of spaces this week. I need to just go and relax. Uh, so I'm gonna time you guys at at least three minutes each to to get like a The show ends at nine, but I'm going to listen to everybody who's on the mic right now. George, uh, in three minutes, do you have a rebuttal or something? Come on, you put it, George. Um, let us go to justice for all. Justice for all. Health data manager, Opio Ouma. Are you there? Yes, I'm here, Mr. Yes, I can hear you. Talk to me. Well, thank you, Pepita, for this occasion. But I just want to go directly to the point that um, uh, one of my the speakers are just uh, deliberated a little bit uh, conscious by beginning the two phrases up there. But then we are losing our focus going into uh, into maybe trying to make it so vivid. So in this capacity, I believe as youth, as a movement, we only remain with one thing. We must go to the ground. All these politicians who are disturbing us today, they went to the ground. They stole our future. They stole our thoughts. They stole our ideas. And now they are controlling us. But if we are going to continue blackmailing each other, that we are going to be on spaces, and then we still fight those who are already rolling it to the ground, we are going nowhere. We must go to the ground, period. We must meet the Kenyan people. We must feel their problems down there. We must make them pay attention to us. We must make them realize that we are there for them. We must make them understand that we are meaning something in 2027. And in all that process, it is beyond these candid discussions and the spaces. I want to conclude by saying, D once, David Ndi once said a very good phrase, that in this government, they believe that the majority are the ignorant people. The minority are the elites who are here in non-spaces. 
So they are going to bribe the minority, the majority, to make them win the next election. If you are not going to go faster beyond them and capture these people, just like some other teams that I've seen go doing there, and you can see government has started harassing them because they have realized they are waking fools from their sleeping slammer, where their spirit and their strength has been residing. Otherwise, I believe that as Kenyan people, let us go to the ground. All right. Thank you so much for that. Health, uh, oh, thank you so much, Health Data Manager, for that submission. I see Joy. I'm going to join up and Danny. How are you doing, Joy? Joy, are you there? And meet the mic, Joy, if you can hear me. Ni kama ni mwato kingi kwa speaker wa nisikia nini. Yeah, ah, Joy. Hi. Peter, sorry, sorry. Siko na ski was driving. Yeah. Oh, pole. Yeah. Yeah. Someone who just said about who oh, I don't know. The thing is, people been dividing. Yani, someone goes to the ground and does the real thing, but a lot of people up to ni kuongea. Oh, CG, you want to take the the leader? CG, the leader has to be this. Ata wewe go to the ground. Fanya hivyo ata kukaa tu. You're just waiting for that person, just putting the ticks. You know. It doesn't work out like that. Just like Nani said, um, that guy, Opio, people need to do something. You're just sticking. Oh, this leader doesn't have that. No, that doesn't work. It does not work. People have to go to ground wafanya vile morara nafanya. Wata kushinda tu hapo wakifight fight. That's nonsense, you know? We are going nowhere. Neo tu for now I need to kuna kitu nafanya hapa hivi Right. Uh, thank you for that, Joy. Uh, I mean, I have to set point on, of order. Now, I'm going to go to Kali. So, I'm going to go to Kali. I'm going to go to Kali. Kila mtu anasema don't come to spaces of you don't come to spaces and talk oh George don't come to spaces and talk mnataka ni kule nini wadau honestly sasa tu tuongee sasa wa Kenya kwa wa Kenya mnataka ni kule nini nini sipo wafungulia radio show tu tu negotiate jumi ni ufungue space ni wape topic muongee mujuane mfunzane alafu mweke tip hapo lakini sasa nikisema tutusikuje hapa kwa space mnamaanisha nini ukweli hivi Nando mna Twitter niga class. Nyaradwen. Hi. Pipi, how are you? I am well. Yourself? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your sacrifices and commitment and everybody who's in here. Now, I just got up for two things. Number one is uh, we have realized and it is evident that Gashagwa impeachment proceedings have literally exposed parliament as an institution available for hire and control. And you know what that does? <laughs> this means it, it, it demeans our institutions and the entire arm of government. The case uh, here is at uh, the courts right now, but let's see, because even that court, when I talk institutions, then um, it's evident that there's not much that we can achieve. Number two that I wanted us to discuss is we did shoot ourselves in the foot. How do we shoot ourselves on the foot? Uh, I believe in hiding claws. By the way, politics is difficult. I have ever vied on the ground. It is not, you know, when I was going to vie, I had these, you know, grandiose kind of projects in my head that I wanted to do just to change the livelihood of my people. Because at that point, I was more of, you know, like for me, I have my food. <laughs> I can go to the best hospital in the world. But I have people who are my blood back at home who do not have the privileges that I have. And I'm like, I have this opportunity and I have the networks to pull the strings so that I am able to bring not only the ex-check 
Kam's money, but also some proper funding that is going to bring a difference. And I had this that idea when I was, my dear, by the time you get on that ground, I am telling you for free. In fact, people will tell you, ah, ma'am, hey, Marai, Marai, ni wewe tu, it is only you. Ni wewe tu, eh? And, and, and you, you get carried away like, ah, people love me. Ah, they mean well. Ah. When it comes to elections, it's a totally different thing. How did we shoot ourselves on the foot? We shot ourselves on the foot by showing our clothes. We know Pipita is the one leading us, and Pipita is the... Trust me, the more your clothes are opened, they'll be clipped by the who is who in garment. You will be clipped. The best thing to do is to hide your clothes. Yes, I am of the opinion that we can we cannot continue being formless, leaderless, and the many lessons that we are. But we can have a leader who is not interested in politics, but more of a revolutionary, more of somebody who's able to create a movement. But when we, we when we pick Pepita and Pepita goes through with us and Pepita is trying to, you know, he's going to be picked and we are going to back to the same scenario. So my point is, even if you are a leader, even if you have those aspirations, this is not the time. This is not the time to come out. Right now, we have a bigger giant. And you know what pains me most? What makes me really cry when I sleep? Is that during Kibaki, when Kibaki was the president, Ruto was in his cabinet. Do you know Ruko, Ruto, Kibaki sacked Ruto for us? He sacked him from his cabinet. Because then was agriculture. The next time, Uhuru now plays along with him as the DP and Uhuru comes out and tells us, please, do not elect this person. This one is going to sell Kenya. And we Kenyans, we Kenyans, we, the people of Kenyans, hey, we are here because, you know, <laughs> we are just Kenyans. I don't know what we are going to do about Kenyans. But we are Kenyans. We will never listen. We don't want to listen. We know too much and we know nothing. So when it comes to elections, it's a different thing. It's not It's not the psycho fancy. It's not the, the name calling, the fame. Fame and elections are two different things. Kwanzaa, there's rigging, there's, there's so many things. There's a lot that needs to be done for you to get that seat. And therefore, those who are planning to buy and wants to lead the, the I call it Gen K, Gen, Generation Kenya. For me, Gen Z uh, helped us to a certain level, but now it has to be Gen K. So that is all I wanted to say, Pepita. Bless you. <laughs> one thing you have to know, Pepita, one thing you have to know is, uh, uh, people, you, you, you're never won. Eh? Bora umesmama ulishinda. That's number one. Eh? Uwa tunashinda. Eh? <laughs> but anyway, I was number two. And I am proud I was number two against ODM as uh, an independent. I went and as, a, as an independent and I became number two. But I still feel kura zangu ziliibwa na watu wa ODM. <laughs> Did I answer you? <laughs> Hata mimi na kusupport. Unajua hata mimi hata mimi nimeona hata wenye umeongea walikudanganya honestly pole. Hiyo eh, ndo kitu moja inanifanya na kunachukia siasa. People really know they do not love you. They, they are not going to give you uh, and you know I, I gave people a chance here last Tuesday. Nikamwambia watu kujeni hapa muongee if you want to be a politician. I think I had only two three people and one was someone who was a, a former aspirant in Kimera. Na akakuja akatuambia hapa hivi alipigwa panga. You know, hiyo ndo siku niliacha kuwa mwanasiasa. Chatu nibaki kwa radio ndo asome yangi habari. 